Now we have got the data from Microsoft Excel in Eltrex. Let us see the next example how to pull data from CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. So I have created a simple file, a very small example with just 10 records. So carefully observe the first row is having the column names or I can say field names. They are separated by comma. I have the employee code, department and zones visited. Below that from the row number two, I have 10 records. They are the just data set and they are separated by comma. Now what I can do is let me show you the file name. It's 2.2 get data from CSV. I can pull this data into Ltrex. So first of all, close the data set. Do not keep it open. If you want to import in Ltrex, I can just click on this new blank workflow or press control N from my keyboard. So I'll click on this one and now to import a CSV file, you can just drag this input data into the canvas and here I can click on this drop down, click on files. From here, I can select that CSV file 2.2 number and that is 2.2 get data from CSV and click on open. Now you can see on the left hand side, I'm getting a preview of data. Since I only have 10 records, I'll be getting those 10 records. But the maximum limit preview you can see is 100 records. If you want to see that results over here in the workflow, you have to press Ctrl R. Ctrl R is a shortcut for executing or running a workflow. So I can just click on run button and I'll be getting all this 10 records. So you see these are total three columns and these are total 10 records. Now, if you remember, we have seen the first three options in the previous video, that is record number limit. If I want four or five records, I can type here. The second is file format. In this case, it is CSV. Third one is search subdirectories. This example we'll see when we work on multiple files, multiple CSV files. The output field name, if I click on full file name, click on run. So I'll be getting a fourth column. You can see the fourth column is file name. That's a file name here. This will be useful when we have multiple files. In this case, we have only one CSV. If I scroll down, you can see now the option comes like delimiter. So in this case, it is a CSV comma separated values. So delimiter is comma here. So I don't have to do anything. But sometimes we get some different files like JSON, HTML, then the delimiter will change. Next one, we have the first row contains the field name. So if you remember in CSV file, the first row was containing the column names or field names. So this is selected by default. So if not, you can manually select that checkbox. Now, if you scroll down, there are plenty of different options. Now, depending upon the data set, this options will change. But for timing, these are all the options for getting data from CSV. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.